Hello, my awesome Sagis. Happy Sunday to you. I hope you are relaxing today, having some leisure time for yourself. Sagis, this is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Sagis. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Sagittarius, for Sagittarius' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Sagis in their life and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Sagis in their life and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Sagis, what's popping Mm. Yeah, you are disappointed in your soulmate connection. Yeah, this is you feeling unloved, emotionally unfulfilled in that relationship. Yeah, you would be willing to give them another chance if they prove themselves to you. Yeah, if they meet you halfway. Hmm. This is you feeling like you need to move on with your life. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Sagis in the life and how is Sagittarius currently doing on their summer journey. Right now, at this point, what you're concerned the most about is how you feel emotionally, uh, your emotions, your feelings. Yeah, you want to be emotionally fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see this? You are betrayed by a lot of different people in your life. This is you letting go of those people, whether it's toxic relatives, toxic friends, toxic ex. This is you saying enough is enough. This is you moving on with your life. Yeah, this is how you view your soulmate that you're letting go of um, based on their behavior towards you. So this is you viewing them as in and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions, not making a solid commitment not telling you where you stand, not listening to your valid concerns. Yeah. Wow. This person so badly wants to reconcile with you. This is you healing. This is you going through healing. The star and temperance showing up together. Beautiful. This is you making wise decisions about your life, looking at everything more objectively. Yeah. You really want to go... Uh, away like you feel like you need to get away for vacation by yourself away from people the person you letting go of loves you a lot but you don't feel loved they don't express that love to you yeah you don't feel loved you don't feel appreciated it's like they holding back these emotions yeah you are heavily concentrating on your finances as well Financial independence, stability, moving forward is very important to you. New soulmates of quality entering your life. By not clinging to this relationship, you're making room for positive new energy, blessings, people of quality, new friendships to enter your life. You see this? How beautiful is this? This is you healing from the past, letting go of the past, not dwelling on it. Good for you. Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Sagis in their life? And how is Sagittarius currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, this is you concentrating on finances, money, business. So somebody wants to return to you with apologies. Yeah, somebody is preparing to return to you with apologies, making amends with you. So it looks like your soulmate is preparing themselves 
for some kind of confrontation, but not in a bad way, to explain something to you, to make amends with you. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Sagis, that Sagis are letting go of at this time, that showed up as Knight of Wands. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Sagis? And how is that soulmate of Sagis towards Sagis at this time, especially emotionally? They love you a lot, a lot of love, but hidden love, not really expressed. They feel deep passion for you and deep love for you. Oh, they're so worried that this is it, that you're not going to listen to what they have to say. This is them scared of your um, rejection, your judgment, if they approach you. Yeah, you see? So they have a pattern of this behavior. They're used to this kind of behavior, being in and out of people's lives, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions, not making commitments. They're used to that. Yeah. They don't want to lose you. So deep down inside, they're yearning for long-term relationship. But this person is unpredictable in behavior. You don't know what to expect of them from one day to another universe because they're showing up as page of swords here they also spying on you checking up on you to see what is currently going on in your life how to approach you if to approach you if it's not too late universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of sagis yeah they're spying on you so out of through of out of uh four aces Three of them showed up in the same spread, which is very rare. Uh, the only ace that's missing is ace of swords, which they're holding over here, but it's pointing down, which shows me they don't communicate with you effectively. But they want to change that. They want to communicate with you. Look how much they miss you. Miss you so much. They feel so sad, empty without you. They have a lot of drama in their life that they need to address, work on. Yeah, they have emotional baggage from past relationships that they need to heal from, release, forgive. Yeah, they want to come towards you with some kind of offer. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Sagis. Yeah, communication showing up here, back and forth communication. Yeah, you see, deep down inside, this person is yearning for long-term relationship. <clears throat> so this was a serious connection for you, Sagis, whether you were married or planning to be married, engaged or living with them. This was a serious connection. You see, look how beautiful your energy is. So they have a lot of respect for you. They view you as empress, someone of high quality, high standards. You see this? This person realizes your worth value now that they lost you or are losing you. Yeah, they have a lot that they need to address from their past relationships. Uh, unhealed emotional wounds. They need to learn how to forgive, including themselves for uh, making mistakes. This, however, shows me betrayal. You feel betrayed by this person. Yeah, you feel like you wasted your time and energy. You don't feel loved by them, even though they do love you. Let's see, universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Sagis. They compare you to other people. They realize how different you are from others, the mistakes they've made. So it's good they see that, right? Because we all make mistakes. Nobody is mistake-free, but they see clearly now your worth, your value, and what they did wrong. This shows me that you are succeeding at a job or business, money coming in due to your diligent work and efforts. Good for you. Financial stability is so important, right? To be independent financially, to be stable. So important. Don't do other per people jobs. No. So, uh, so there are some people at your place of employment who are not completing their tasks and not working Maybe you are understaffed where you work, but it's falling on your competent shoulders. You're doing more than you should be doing. Yeah, than you're getting paid for. Yeah. 
justice will be served on your behalf, Sagis. This person that you're letting go of wants to make things right, but the question is, will they? So they have good intentions, but I think we all know that intentions on its own are not going to fix anything, right? We need to follow through with consistent actions, right? Yeah. Let me see one more for you, Sagis. Wow. This is you wanting to clear the air with this person. They feel so sad, heartbroken. You have a lot of worries on your mind. You worry too much. Yeah, you worry too much. Yeah, you are walking away from toxic people, toxic relationships, toxic connections. Yeah, this is you protecting your heart at this time, trying to make wise decisions in your life. You don't want to make any mistakes. You want to proceed wisely, cautiously. Uh, Sagis, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate entering your life that showed up the star and temperance. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you. Whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life the star and the temperance energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so sagis click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys